Hi, this is Lisa Love to Crochet and Knit. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this googly-eyed gnome. And um, he's got a full white beard and just a simple little pointy hat. So let's get started on what you're going to need. You're going to need some white yarn, some color of your choosing for the hat. I'm going to use pink. And you're going to need some, a pair of googly eyes. And then I bought these natural wood split balls and they are size 1.59 centimeters and that is what I use for the nose just one of those and then a tapestry needle a crochet hook and I'm using a size H and a pair of scissors. And then you could use the safety eyes if you choose. You can attach with a pen or a magnet to the back, or you could still even put a key chain ring on it. So um, I purchased the pin and the key chain ring off Amazon. I can't remember where I got the um, uh, magnets. And then the googly eyes are from Amazon. And the little um, natural wood split balls are from Meyer, I believe, in the craft section. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I took my white yarn and I cut sections of yarn up to 7 inches. And I cut 30 of them. And that way it gives me plenty of um, yarn to fold and attach to it. And then I can trim it as I see fit. You can make it longer or shorter, but that's how this beard is like that length. Okay, so I cut 30 of those and I have mine all set. And then the next thing as I do, oh, you're going to need hot glue to attach the nose and the hat. Um, okay, so I'm going to make my magic loop and I leave it open and I chain one and I'm going to do half double crochets again. I love my half double crochets and I'm just going to insert that into the magic loop and around the googly eyes and I'm going to put eight half double crochets around the magic loop and the googly eyes. So I'll come back when I've done my eight. Okay, so I've done my my eight half double crochets just around the ring of the googly eyes. Now I make sure that the end of my magic loop is going behind the eyes and I make sure I pull that eighth half double crochet kind of taut and I'm still gonna do I'm gonna do two more half double crochets in between the eyes and just around the magic loop so there's one and there's two and then the next one I'm going to put a slip stitch to the beginning in that first stitch And then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to cut my working yarn. And I'm going to pull that up and make that a knot. And then I'm going to tighten the magic loop and knot that and weave in the end. And it doesn't really matter if you weave in the ends or not because you're making a beard, but I like to have those weaved in. So I'm going to weave in those and then come back. Okay, so this is what he looks like so far. And then you need to stop and cut your 30 um, little um, lengths of chain. And then I put two together and I kind of fold them over. And then I take it in the very top part right close to the eye and I pull a 
loop through those and so I have a loop around there and then I pull it through just like you're fastening it on and you pull it tight I'll show you again fold it over around my finger and then I insert it into this the stitch and then I pull put that around my crochet hook and I make that a loop and then I pull them through to tighten them so I'm going to do that all the way around all these stitches to the eye on this uh, this one close to this side of the eye and I'll come back okay so I've just attached just all the way around from one eye to the next with those little loops and fasten pull tight and now I still have some of those um, little short ends and what I do now is I go through and I fill in the beard so like if you can see in between there's there's a gap here and so I'm gonna put one around here and you might not use all of those ends or you might want to add a few more to fill it in and that's what made his beard full and so I just so I put some more there and then now I'm gonna put another one there so I take two more together and I'm gonna go in between the stitches and I'm just gonna make some more loops around there And I'm just going to make sure I fill in all the way around all those little sections. There's not too many left. So you just go around that little lump part of the, the stitch. And so I'm going to continue to do that and I'll come back. Okay, so I have them all tightened up, fastened in the front. And I'm going to show you there's two layers. So you can see that there's, there's one bunch, there's two, and so on. And so, and then this is the front part. So I only filled in, no, on this one, I didn't fill in as much, but I want to show you that you can even go all the way up to the top part of it. Now this one, I only did the front and the center. So this one, I put in a couple extra because I wanted to make sure it was really full and then what I do now is I take them so I have a total of 36 on this one and there's 30 on that one so I didn't put the extra ones up on the top here on this but I want to see what it looks like so this one I added a few more to make it look fuller and then you're going to want to take, you can take your tapestry needle and you can just pull apart the beard or you don't have to, you can leave him just like he is. Um, so I think we'll just leave them for now so you can see the difference and maybe you can make a choice or you could even use a pick to comb through the yarn and separate them. So now we're going to do the hat. So I'm going to take some pink. I'm going to take some pink yarn. And what I'm going to do, as you can see, the yarn of the hat is a little bit different. It's just so that it doesn't pull apart or anything. But what I did is I made the hat. I didn't attach it to the googly eyes until with, only with glue. And so I just make a slip knot. And then I chain 11. There's my 11. Pull some more yarn here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the tip top of the hat. And I'm going to slip stitch in that first stitch. Like that. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet. I'm sorry. And in the next stitch, I'm going to do a half double crochet. And the next stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet. 
So I've completed the one double crochet and I'm going to do another double crochet in the next stitch. And then next stitch I'm going to do a yarn over twice and it's called a tri triple crochet or treble crochet. And so I'm going to do two of those, one in the next stitch as well. And then the next one I'm going to yarn over three times and I'm going to do three of the yarn over two three times, which is called a double triple crochet. And so you just insert it in your hook into your loop and you pull up a loop and then you yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through the last two and so I'm going to do that and the next two stitches the same thing just do three you can do them shorter or longer um, if you don't like doing the double triple then you don't have to you could just keep it a double but the hat won't be as wide and so there's my last one and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, whoops, four. Pull some more yarn here. And then I'm going to slip stitch to that first stitch. And then I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to yarn over three times. And I'm going to go in that same stitch. And then in the next stitch, I'm still going to do a triple, a double triple. Because remember, I did three of those. So there's two. I have one more. In the next stitch. Because your stitches are going to line up. Whatever you did on this side, repeat it on this side. And then, so the next stitch is the two yarn over. Remember, two is just a triple crochet. Just give me a pull some more yarn. And then I did another triple crochet in the next stitch. And then the next one is a double crochet. And then the next one's another double crochet. And the next one's a half double. And then the next one's a single crochet. And then the last one is a slip stitch. And then a chain one. And then I cut my working yarn. Pull up that loop, make that a knot. I'm going to weave in my ends and come back. Okay, so I have the hat made. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue across here. And then I'm just going to put the hat, lay the hat right on there. And if you need to add more glue to the one end, can. and then attach a little more on the other end so I make sure the hat is really secure on there and then I have the little half of a wooden ball and I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue on that and I'm going to put that in the center. And then and then there's your gnomes. So you have him attached and you don't have to pull out the hair. You can leave it this way. But remember I tore this one apart. I pull each little yarn out. And this one's got 36 little strands of beard and this one's got 30. I just put it didn't put them as full and then you can you're welcome to trim them up 
to make sure he looks nice and just just do a little a little trim so he's all even and then so there is your googly-eyed little gnomes thanks for watching like and subscribe